Hello, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Sudhanand Aital, a product specialist in the Informatica global customer support team. In this video, I am going to talk about how one can use the Process Explorer tool to capture native stack of an Informatica process on demand. In this video, I am going to talk about the Process Explorer tool itself in brief, what are native stacks and why is it so important, what is its importance and uh, how one can leverage the Process Explorer tool to collect native stacks of an informatical process or any other process for that matter. So what is the Process Explorer tool? Uh, it is a Windows Sys internals tool the Sys internal tool suite is actually an advanced system troubleshooting and monitoring tool that Microsoft provides. Um, please note that these tools or the entire tool suite does not come installed on Windows by default. So I have provided the link where one can download the entire tool suite or just the individual tools that one requires. Process Explorer is actually an advanced Windows Task Manager. So, as you know, Windows by itself provides a very basic Process uh, Task Manager. Um, Process Explorer is an add-on to the Task Manager wherein it provides various functionalities over the actual existing Task Manager. For example, with Process Explorer one can list the uh, open handles that every process has acquired. For example, if the process has opened a file, that would be a file handle. If the process has uh, opened or has acquired a shared library or a DLL, that would be a DLL handle, etc. Process Explorer also allows us to list process-wise memory, network and other usage statistics you would also be able to view the process tree. So by process tree, what I mean is if there is a process A and it spawns another process B, so a process tree would be A and underneath that would be B. So this would be a simple process tree. Uh, process Explorer allows us to view that. It also allows us to view the thread-wise CPU usage of a process. And last but not the least, and one that is important for our demo, it allows us to view the native stacks of all the threads in a process. Native stacks and why is it so important? Now, a native stack is the snapshot of the execution of a thread. So, it basically tells us where the thread is. By where, I mean which method or which native method, a native call the thread is executing or what is it executing or is it executing anything at all? So, the native stacks are particularly important from a troubleshooting point of view. The native stacks are particularly very important when we debug issues like high CPU, where the CPU consumption or the CPU load is pretty high. <coughs> Performance, where uh, you know that um, version A of the product was um, completing a task in X amount of time but version B uh, of the same product is uh, performing the same task in X plus Delta where Delta is pretty huge and it's unacceptable so that would be a performance degradation so in such cases we would need native stacks and in cases of hang and deadlock where you know that your process um, has stalled and it's not moving anywhere for a pretty long time and in cases of deadlock which is a special case of hang the process does not move at all so uh, native stacks taken for such an affected process so it could be affected by any of these three uh, uh, issues so the native stacks um, when you take for such an affected process it has to be taken at intervals so that it helps us understand what the process is going through. So at time A the process 
was executing a certain set of methods at time b it is executing a certain set of methods and then time slice three uh, c it would be executing a certain set of methods so when we look at the snapshots of all the native stacks at all these time intervals it gives us an idea of what the process was going through or is it even moving at all or is there certain set of uh, methods that were executed over and over so that mm, it could possibly be the root cause of you know the issue at hand let us move to a demo I have opened the process explorers home page on the Vis, uh, Windows Vis internals uh, tool suite uh, I have downloaded that locally to my desktop here so let me open that up so once you open you can see that it is it is a more advanced um, task manager in a sense that you have a lot more of a GUI detail here so this would be a process tree where you have the explorer.exe which has spawned process.exe which has in turn spawned 64-bit version of the same uh, tool um, you can see the CPU usage stats and the process memory stats here as well as the IO and the network and the disk here so what I have here is I have opened the Informatica repository manager um, and from Informatica repository manager I have opened the workflow manager and the workflow monitor so when I go to the process explorer what I can see here is that I can see the process tree the repository manager from there I have opened the workflow manager and from workflow manager I've started a workflow which opened up the workflow monitor now I have opened another Informatica client here which is the developer client now let me look at the developer client process here which is the developer code.exe as this is an Eclipse based tool it would spawn the Java for us and uh, this is the actual process that would be doing all the work for uh, that you see on the developer client now for our example let me um, show you how you can collect the native stack of this particular process using process explorer now you right click on this process you see what is called as you go to the properties and then here in the threads tab you can see all the threads that this process has currently spawned and you could see that you can list it by thread ID or you can sort it by the CPU uh, consumed now, in this case I don't see much uh, activity for this process but let me click on this thread and then just say stack now this is what we call as a native stack for this thread of the developer client process what you could do is you could say copy all and then I have pasted that onto a notepad here let me take another uh, uh, generic example here so I have a small uh, high CPU test case not exactly high CPU but one that holds the CPU for a long time indefinite time for that matter I have run that test case here now let me go to the process explorer let me end this now this is my CPU test test case I right click and then I say properties and then I can see that there are threads here three threads that are consuming close to 13% each not exactly high CPU but as you can see they are continuously consuming 13% <coughs> now what you could do is you could click on a certain thread and then say stack and then you would get the native stack trace you would say copy all and then paste it onto your 
notepad. Now this test case basically is doing a lot of uh, math operations which would uh, not necessarily boil down to native calls. Um, all of these execution would probably happen at the Java uh, layer itself. But this is a, a small example on how you can you know, collect native stacks of a process uh, on demand. Um, so in the demo I had shown uh, a process tree of how uh, um, the Informatica processes are displayed on the Process Explorer. The native bar center clients, the repository manager, the workflow manager and the workflow monitor. And then we also saw how uh, you can collect the native stacks of the developer client using Process Explorer. So to summarize, Process Explorer helps in, among other things, obtaining a quick view of native stacks. As I explained, native stacks are very important when we uh, debug a class of uh, issues like high CPU, performance degradation, and hang or deadlock. For more advanced and in-depth native level debugging, we would recommend that you collect debug tag dumps and report, wherein once we have the process dump, we would use other tools to uh, navigate through the threat stacks in detail. Thank you for watching this video. We would love to hear from you. To email us, you can email us on supportvideos at informatica.com. You can follow us on Twitter at infasupport, that's our handle. And for more support videos, you could log on to YouTube and look for infasupport user. Thank you. Have a nice day.